Milky Way is about to witness a massive explosion of the most prominent star that scientists have found to date. But there's nothing to worry about, though. All we'll get to see is an amazing light show that'll definitely amaze us. This phenomenon is called a supernova, and what you can expect is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star when it dies. The death of a star is intriguing as it leaves a whole lot of questions that are still unanswered, and it isn't any different with this supernova. Before we dive in, let's quickly understand what a supernova really is. A supernova is easily the biggest explosion that we human beings have ever seen. Each blast is the phenomenally bright and super powerful explosion of a star. There are a few ways this could happen. One type of supernova is caused by the final act of a dying massive star. You know, it's like when a sports star retires at their highest point, rather than waiting for their career to fizzle out. Anyway, when a star is at least five times the mass of our sun, it could potentially go out with a fantastic bang. These massive stars burn huge amounts of nuclear fuel at their cores, and this produces tons of energy, which makes the center very hot. Heat generates pressure, and the pressure created by a star's nuclear burning also keeps that star from collapsing. A star is in a delicate balance between two opposing forces. The star's gravity tries to squeeze the star into the smallest, tightest ball possible. But on the other hand, the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core creates strong outward pressure. This outward push resists the inward squeeze of gravity. It's an unsettling conflict that results in a massive, terrifying, yet beautiful explosion. When a massive star runs out of fuel, it cools off. This causes the pressure to drop. Gravity wins, and the star suddenly collapses. Imagine something one million times the mass of Earth collapsing in like 15 seconds. The collapse happens so quickly that it creates enormous shock waves that cause the outer part of the star to explode. This usually results in a very dense core being left behind, along with an expanding cloud of hot gas turning into a nebula. A supernova of a star more than about 10 times the size of our sun may leave behind the densest objects in the universe that we've come to know as black holes. There's a second type of supernova that can happen in systems where two stars orbit one another, and at least one of those stars is an Earth-sized white dwarf. A white dwarf is what's left after a star the size of our sun has run out of fuel. If one white dwarf collides with another or pulls too much matter from its nearby star, the white dwarf can explode and the explosion is as massive as it gets. The largest star in the Milky Way is slowly dying and all scientists can do is observe. Even if we could travel to VY Canis Majoris, there's barely anything we could do to stop the death of a star. It's a bit too late, but what we could get out of this is more data on how and why stars die. VY Canis Majoris is a massive red hypergiant and is often considered the Milky Way's largest star because of its incredible size, but wait, what is a red hypergiant? A hypergiant is a very rare type of star that has an extremely high luminosity, mass, size, and mass loss because of its extremely fast-flowing streams of particles that are emitted from the star. Now, a red hypergiant is even rarer, and they are usually the largest stars ever found in the universe. Our Milky Way's VY Canis Majoris is one such red hypergiant. While spectacular in its own right, the star is over 1,000 times more massive than our sun. But what's most interesting about this star is that it's dying a slowing death. Stars like VY Canis Majoris, as we mentioned before, are very rare, and in fact, we only literally know just a couple of others that exist within our galaxy. One of which you might have heard about before is Betelgeuse, which is situated in the Orion constellation. Another can be found in the Cygnus constellation. Because they are so rare, there's barely anything we know about these stars, including what happens to them when they die. 
A group led by researchers from the University of Arizona is trying to learn more about these massive stars. Presently, they've traced the molecular emissions in its outflows, and this has allowed them to create the first detailed map of the star's envelope. Previously, many believed that celestial objects like the Milky Way's largest star turned into supernovae upon their deaths. But that may not be true in this case. A researcher with the University of Arizona, Lucy Zyuris, said, Nobody has been able to make a complete image of this star. You don't see this nice symmetrical mass loss, but rather convection cells that blow through the star's photosphere like giant bullets and eject mass in different directions. These are analogous to the coronal arcs seen in the Sun, but a billion times larger. What makes V.Y. Canis Majoris and other red hypergiants so fascinating is their makeup. Unlike other stars, hypergiants tend to experience substantial and sporadic events when they lose mass. This is what gives them their unusual design. It may also be this unusual design that drives one of the biggest differences between red hypergiants and other stars, and that's what they become when they die. Previous investigations of the star conducted using the Hubble Space Telescope revealed arcs, clumps, and knots at distances of thousands of astronomical units away from the star. The team traced molecules surrounding the star and then mapped them to the images of the material surrounding the star. The team was investigating how the massive star sheds mass, which seems to be very different when compared to the behavior of stars with smaller masses. The researchers tracked the trajectories of sulfur oxide, sulfur dioxide, silicon oxide, phosphorus oxide, and sodium chloride molecules. Another researcher from the team, Ambesh Singh, said, The molecules trace the arcs in the envelope, which tells us molecules and dust are well mixed. The nice thing about emissions of molecules at radio wavelengths is that they provide us with velocity information as opposed to the dust emissions, which is static. Zerus and other researchers hypothesized that red hypergiants like the Milky Way's largest star may turn into black holes when they die. A supernova, though, is still possible. Zyuris said that if all red hypergiants turned into supernovas, we would likely see evidence of many more of those events, and since we don't see that many supernovas, it is indeed possible these massive stars simply turn into black holes when they die. We'll only be able to know when we uncover more details about them before we can be certain. This is where the astronomers come in. They've now created a model of V.Y. Canis Majoris. Now we can study that model. And eventually, when the largest star in the Milky Way calls it quits, we can see how that data stacks up to the real thing. Processing the data required some insane amounts of computing power. Ambesh Singh says, so far, we have processed almost a terabyte from ALMA, and we still receive data that we have to go through to get the best resolution possible. Just calibrating and cleaning the data requires up to 20,000 iterations, which takes a day or two for each molecule. With these observations, we can now put these on maps of the sky. Until now, only small portions of this enormous structure had been studied. But you can't understand the mass loss and how these big stars die unless you look at the entire region. That's why we wanted to create a complete image. We'll get to see their findings soon, as the team plans to publish them in a series of papers this year. Well, for starters, scientists have learned a lot about the universe by studying supernovas. They use the second type of supernova, you remember? The one we mentioned before, where two stars orbit one another, and at least one of those stars is an Earth-sized white dwarf and all that great stuff, yeah? Anyway, they used that as a ruler to measure distances in space. Scientists have also learned that stars are the universe's factories. Stars generate the chemical elements needed to make everything in our universe. At their cores, stars convert simple elements like hydrogen into heavier elements. These heavier elements, such as carbon and nitrogen, are the elements needed for life. Only massive stars can make heavy elements like gold, silver, and uranium. 
When explosive supernovas happen, stars distribute both stored up and newly created elements throughout space. So, what do you think will happen to this star? Will it turn into a black hole or will we see a supernova? Let us know in the comments below and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.